Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl, the Ashley Michelle, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing you guys the key top essential things that you need as a wig wearer. And also, just because this is the holiday season, I thought, why not share these things just because if you do know somebody that wears wigs or you know, and you don't really know what to get them. These are definitely some items that you can put in a nice little goodie bag and just give to them. And I promise you that they will love them and use them because, I mean, why not? We need them. And I definitely, you know, if anybody watching that want to give your girl a gift, definitely take these notes because... <laughs> You know, you never can have too much of these things, especially when you are a daily, a real deal wig wearer like myself, you know, you need these things. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into the video. But before I get started, definitely do not forget to subscribe and turn your post notifications on if you are already not subscribed. And for those of you that are, thank you again for tuning back in and thank you for my new people that are tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, but I'm going to stop talking now so we can get right into this video. Alright y'all, so the items that I'm going to talk to you guys about, they're not in any particular order because when I say these are essentials, they're all necessary to slay your wigs each and every time. Definitely, you know, get your pen paper and out because I'm not for sure if I'm going to list everything down below yet, but I might. So, since this is in my hands, the first item is a edge brush and comb. Um, yeah, just excuse my edge brush and comb because I did use it and I forgot to clean it before this video. But this item, um, you can get them from your local beauty supply store. Everything that I am going to be telling you guys, you can get from the beauty supply store. But um, you can also order them online. And definitely, if you do order online, go through Amazon. They have great shipping and handling um, services. And shipping is just very, very inexpensive with them. So, um definitely check the links out down below that I do leave for these products so yes edge brush comb this is just perfect to getting those nice little swoopy edges even if you're not even even if you aren't wearing a wig this brush is OMG I talk about this brush every single time I do a wig on my channel this is the same one I literally just wash it sterilize it all that good stuff I think it's like $1.99 or something like that it's very very inexpensive but it gets the job done I'm telling y'all because before I even got into doing my edges for real, for real, like really into them, I just would use my fingers. But when I say this brush right here works magic, like it works magic. You can't go wrong with that. So that um, next thing is a scarf. So um, it doesn't matter like how long the scarf is, but just a nice, you know, satin or silk scarf just because you know we need to lay down our edges and also just when you don't wear the wig depending on which type of person you are a scarf person or a bonnet person and that's my next item but yeah so yeah scarf or a bonnet oh and as y'all can see I love leopard <laughs> but yes so definitely a scarf for laying down that wig getting it nice and flat but most importantly for me I prefer a bonnet for when I'm not wearing my wig you know this thing right here and I mean it's leopard so you know you definitely can go out the house with it <laughs> but yeah so scarf bonnet definitely important um the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is back to like when I said people have different preferences so if you don't really like to like use glue or any like adhesive or you don't really want to sew down your wig getting elastic so you can get elastic from like Walmart craft stores anything like that um I believe they are selling elastic now in the beauty supply stores but I'm not for sure because when I get elastic I always go to Walmart because they have like this long roll that you can get for like five dollars so get you some elastic I'm telling y'all elastic band method is my favorite method just because I don't have to worry about my wig going anywhere and it definitely helps and since I'm talking about stuff to help your wig from moving I'm gonna go to my next item which is the wig grip I did do a review and unboxing on the wig grip I am gonna leave link that video to this video as well but I like the wig grip also because it's very very easy to use it's stretchy so it will fit any type of head you can adjust it like I said it's made out of velcro so it's nice and easy to use and um also the thing I like about this is well this wig is kind of small head friendly so it really doesn't move on my head because my head is so big but like let's say for example like my wig was sliding back like that 
when you add this wig grip in, it's going to hold your wig in place. So that's not even going to happen because it's doing its thing. It's gripping. So definitely the wig grip, another great option and perfect for beginner friendly um, wig wearers. Just because if you don't want to sew the elastic band in, the wig grip is definitely the easier alternative. Um, next, going into some more tools, a paddle brush. Oh my gosh. I cannot stress enough, like, the paddle brush is just, like, the holy grail. Like, if you don't have a paddle brush, your life is just over when it comes to wearing wigs. Like, I'm so serious, y'all. Like, I mean, and especially if you get the one with the bristles like this, you can use it on any type of hair texture and it won't pull the hair out. But, um, yes, definitely you need you a paddle brush. Ladies, get you one. Um, the next tool handy dandy rat tail comb and the reason why i like the metal rat tail comb versus like the plastic ones is just because when you are parting your hair with these combs you can get a nice precise perfect part like when i tell you your part is going to be laid crispy like nobody is going to be able to tell you anything i didn't part this wig by the way but nobody's going to be able to tell you anything when you get these and they're just also very helpful too when you are you know doing the chase method and flat iron in your wig. I'm doing a whole demonstration over here. But yeah, this um these type of combs, especially with the metal one, the metal picks are definitely great for parting. So definitely rat tail combs. Um yeah, so I'm gonna finish up with combs. And the other comb you need is a wide tooth comb. These are really, really good for curly or curly hair, body wave hair, anything like that. Anything with a tighter um pattern of hair just because you know it's easier to go through and you won't risk breaking the hair by using like a smaller comb i have sometimes used because i didn't have my wide tooth comb handy i have like combed my hair with one of these types of combs and like the curl wasn't as tight anymore just because i used a smaller comb so wide tooth combs are definitely essential and great to add to that gift basket one of the also important things that you definitely, you know, need is wig caps. Now, um, I will say definitely keep in mind of the person that you're buying for because wig caps do come in different, um, very. So the next two products that I'm going to talk about, I'm pretty sure you guys all have heard and seen these, but I got to reemphasize them again. The got to be glue gel and free spray i definitely prefer the gel and the black versus the yellow one just because it doesn't leave a lot of white residue and also this spray is great for laying and holding down your wig so definitely get your person these two products i think you can get these together as well and the next product is edge control of course because you need to lay and slay your edges with your wig so definitely pick them up some edge control um and if you also don't know which ones to get definitely do not um hesitate to ask them like hey what type of edge controls do you use and also back to the wig cap thing i was going to say you know they come in different shades of brown so definitely keep in mind the person that you're purchasing <sighs> all right y'all so the next essential for every wig wear is some duck bill clips um, or just any type of clips that you can find to just clip the hair out the way while you're styling And the next item that I want to talk to you guys about is the salon care mannequin head holder This is perfect for anyone that is just starting out with um, wearing wigs. It also helps You can um, attach this you don't need a stand with this one at all. All you have to do is use this little I guess you could say twisty. Yeah, all you have to do is twist this up and down you stick it onto like a table a chair or anything that you can find with the flat surface all you have to do is stick that on pop your mannequin head on top and you're able to style your wig that way or also just you know let it be up there so that way you don't have to wear the wig at night it has something to go on this i think ran about fifty dollars but i'm not for sure i will link it down below but this is definitely perfect it's definitely more sturdier than I know some wigs come with actual wig stands, the little plastic ones. But this one is definitely sturdy and it also has the a movable, I guess you could say, neck holder piece. Yeah, so this piece definitely moves so if you need to get certain angles, you definitely be able to do that. With this, this is definitely like helped me throughout my wig care journey. 
um well y'all can't see it but i do have the bigger stand now that i use but this one definitely does come in handy especially if you're traveling this is definitely perfect for that as well and oh and I wasn't even going to talk about this, but I just thought about it. Scissors. You need some hair scissors for um, hair scissors or where is it at? I know. I'm just looking around and I'm finding stuff now. So, yeah, definitely hair scissors for cutting off any tags or lace. Or you can also get your person some razors. This is an eyebrow razor, but you can get any type of razor. Both of these are definitely, definitely, definitely important for cutting off lace frontals, lace wigs, all of that good stuff like that. So, um... <clears throat> So yeah, that completes my essentials list for my wig wearers. Definitely, if you are a wig wearer, you need to make sure you have these items. I promise you, they will make your wig installs look flawless. And also, if you are, you know, um, also if you do want to purchase these items directly from this video, I am going to leave some links down below in the description box to all the um, items that I've listed so that way you all can get your hands on these items and don't even have to leave the house.